my hair <laughs> heaven <laughs> heaven so for all my chores now I gotta use the aqua seal to fix up the leaks in my air mattress so that one was the prickle bush underneath my hammock last night so it's actually needs a patch as well as the glue hours to set so I've had several shit sleeps in a row and after a week of not sleeping um, I just I just got to address all these little issues and whilst I'm at it before I forget I just got a couple of rips in my wet weather gear from the Hunter Road crossing drop so I'm gonna fix those up at the same time same as on my Catman do jacket and given there's rain coming so while I've got the special glue out let's get it all done that's it so just put it on Flat. And it's flexible, waterproof, airtight. So that little rip, I'll just put one of the clear gear aid patches. So tonight I'm just sleeping on my sleeping bag on the glass. Oh, maybe I'll grab one of those woolly sheep. Curl up with one of those. <laughs> what a beautiful morning. So that was a good night. That's all set now. That only took 12 hours, so that gear aid is pretty good for a flexible rubbery seal 12 hours to set and that was small tears I didn't have to actually use patches over that so that's all the wet weather gear done same as the air mattress nice flexible and that little so I'd say that was definitely the prickle bush under the hammock spared it so I've just that particular one there I just gave it an extra patch over the top but apart from that that worked well I've charged all my appliances overnight, so there's my little camp light, which is also solar powered. My Garmin's charged, the iPhone 8 that I use as a GPS, three GoPro batteries, and for those that have asked, that's my water steriliser. So it's called a Pure Plus SteriPen. So that was a cracker, and, and that's at um, any good camping store, and that was about 150 bucks. What else? So, last of my bits and bobs charging now. Last GoPro battery, my battery backup, and my headlamp. And then I'm done. Then I can go into town and find some Wi Fi or something to upload the last of these three videos. And then I can download the last of the footage and I'm back on the trails again. So, hopefully, tonight I'm up in the mountains somewhere. Fingers crossed. Oh, that was joy. Absolute joy being able to get all my repairs done and upload vids and wake up at my own pace that was beautiful I love riding with my buddy Mark best adventure buddy riding buddy ever and same token I just get all my critical stuff done I have to do it you know these are all safety issues I can't get a good night's sleep with a busted up mattress I've got my wet weather gear and charging up all my appliances and getting my memoirs done so Mark's not really he loves absolutely loves and is grateful that I do the memoirs but end of the day um, he can't help me with them and doing the memoirs is not his thing that's my labor of love um, he'll love that when he gets old and gray and can watch that again but yeah it's my labor of love and all the, the um, difficulties that come with doing that but you know for me I want to record my journey. I want to watch these memoirs one day when I'm old and grey. So whilst he can't help and it annoys him that it gets in the way of a good ride, I just want to do it. You know, this is my thing. This is my thing. So nothing wrong with having a down day or two to catch up with all of that. And he's off up in, in their mountains somewhere having a fat time, but it won't be long. I'll be back up there too. All right, let's get the show on the road. Hey, Rosie. How's this? Sunday night. I'm on the corner of two rivers here. Just slowly we'll get there. There's Brucey parked up. But look at this little green grassy patch. The beers are cooling. But over here, look, this is a bit that you like. That's my special rock. 
my contemplation rock. And here's the river crossing. Piece of piss. Had to come in up around here to get in. Look at this. There's trout in here too. I'm gonna catch me one. I reckon Frank and Frank are still on the game, mate, even if we're traveling separately. This place is. This is another 10 out of 10, was he? Hey, look at this smile. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. Just for a couple of beautiful brown trout. They are probably kilo each. Hey, you're going to tell us about uh, horses and catching brumbies and stuff, aren't you? What, what did your old man say? What's the point of ruining a good horse to get a bad one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's exactly it. So we really had to have uh, some of the main cattle agents. Uh, one bloke that just had come up there and they come and double deck us yeah. up to the gap. and got their, all their horses out and laid them into the pen lines and every day they were out chasing Brumby. And they, were, they had thoroughbreds, they were riding thoroughbreds to catch the old mongrel. <laughs> doesn't make, doesn't add up, does it? Dad and I just laughed at him, let him go. <laughs> Smart, combining a laundromat and car washing one. Didn't even see it when I washed my bike yesterday, so that was a cracker. Back up to the mountains. Ooh, don't like the look of those. Heaps more on the horizon. That should make it a bit easier. Do not enter this property without prior approval. Please contact the landowner before entering. Where's the details? Where's the details? This is the thoroughfare to that main road. You kind of have to go this way.
kind of speed, except slow. Engine braking. the nice trails now Rosie for a little bit give yourself a rest you earned it oh. Yeah. 
my view. Bit of a look out. Look out! Oh, stuff me. Oh, what a shame about the power line. Oh, stuff me, that's beautiful. Out of the way, power lines. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Wow. That's incredible. Stay in front of the car. Stay in front of the car. Don't have to eat dust. Line solo, don't want to eat dust. Wow. Just come off Snubber Road, Taubingo. That's where I was going to go, Yellow and Access Road. So I'm just going to keep riding in the direction of Tumbarumba. However, that takes me. Barama, 12 kilometres, Bannons Road. Oh, beautiful valley. Beautiful. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is pretty. Whoa. Look how deep drop off it is down there. Oh, what a specky view. What a specky view, capital spec. It's awesome watching a stallion chase away another would-be suitor after the girls. All right, Tumbalumba, I think that's what it's called. Tumbanumba, Tum Tumbarumba. I'll get it right. 
<laughs> Tumba rumba. Carry on. That's what I want. And three fireplaces. What a day, what a day. What are you doing, Mark? What gnarly trails did you do today? Whew. Tumbaramba Union Hotel has not disappointed. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Check this baby out. Oh my God. I'm gonna inhale this one. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, full belly. Oh, food coma. Caravan Park. Lay down. So there's a storm coming in. So I think I'll just bed down for the day and stay dry. And uh, hit the trails tomorrow. Beautiful spot to do my editing. Beautiful spot. God, this flies a cracker. Thanks, Jock. Armadale Outdoors, gold. Yep, looks like it's a relaxing day in Tumbarumba. <laughs> Good opportunity to catch up on some videos. Yeah, I wonder what those river trails are gonna be like now. <laughs> the ones I gotta take tomorrow. Ooh. <laughs> Yikes, this is not good. This is not good at all. That's a lot of water on my trails, on my dry trails. Yikes. Lucky I moved my tent from that spot. Ooh.